Namaste everyone. This is Aparna from Ship Connections, a midwife, mindfulness and yoga teacher. And I'm launching a new program from July called Mindful Mamas and Papas. And in this relation, I'm going to interview a lot of midwives and yoga teachers who are teaching pregnant women. So in this series, I bring to you my one of very favorite person. Her name is Jennifer Corrigan. And Jennifer is very special to me and I will let you know why. Uh, but she works in a very busy hospital of Dublin, uh, in one of the busiest maternity hospital where birth rate is about 9,000 per annum. And Jennifer has also interest in mindfulness and yoga and she has been now practicing for a good number of years. Uh, and she has been coming to me, so I know her very well. So Jennifer, you're very welcome to the studio and uh, we are delighted to have you here. Thanks, Aparna. Thanks for having me. So Jennifer, tell us a little bit about your journey to become a midwife. What made you to think that you want to become a midwife? So my journey started when I had my first child at the age of 18. I always wanted a low intervention birth. Um, and this wasn't facilitated through lack of education on my behalf. And then after I had my first child, I became educated on birth and non-interventionist birth. And I just gained a passion from there. Um, reading books like Spiritual Midwifery really just got me going. So I wanted to become a midwife. And it's been a long journey. I finally got there in 2016. Right. Oh, wow. So it is the same year when we actually met. Uh, and I remember uh, that first time you came to me and you said you want to learn meditation. And I was like, wow, in this small village. And I would have recently moved to this part of uh, Ireland. So that was our first meeting when we met um, for meditation. So uh, and that time, I remember you were a midwifery student and then you completed your midwifery and then you have worked in, I think, two different maternity hospitals. So yep, what I do think. you see in the ground on in the hospital? Uh, how do you find pregnant women are dealing with their pregnancy and beyond? I find a lot of women come in without any background knowledge of birth or early parenthood and they expect us to educate them um, a lot of women don't want to deal with it they kind of want to fast forward the birth and just have their baby they want to skip that part <laughs> <laughs> they're frightened and they need support lots and lots of support yeah so the word that you have mentioned that they are frightened and that means the fear of birth and this fear of birth is kind of almost genetically ingrained in their mind from listening to either horror stories from their friends or the way people describe. Uh, but it's also a, one of the very important aspect of mindfulness that mindfulness practitioners actually manage to kind of suppress or reduce that part of the brain which creates fear, which is called amygdala. So amygdala is the hindbrain, which is quite large and it is still works on a primal instinct and it creates a lot of fear. So do you think that practice of mindfulness, if it is done on a regular basis, that it will reduce the fear of birth? 100%. If women are able to focus on their breath, and they can focus all their energy then and the fear just fades away because all that they're focusing on is the breath and breathing and they're no longer worried about the fear. Yes, and in the antenatal education and the childbirth classes, which are literally for one or two days, um, that's what they are. So they, do you feel that there is a gap that, you know, that is not sufficient to prepare them for such an important role that they are going to take in the life? because they are going to uh, nurture this baby and this baby will grow as an adult. So their parenting responsibilities pretty much never end. So this is a huge responsibility and one day or two days antenatal class isn't going to serve what they're looking for. No way. 
when you come home with the baby, that's when the journey starts as well, you know, and you feel like you've left the hospital with all these booklets and pamphlets, but you don't have a clue and you've nobody to support you. And if you have your parents, you're lucky, but they might not do things the way you want to do it. So there's conflict there as well. So yeah, definitely the antenatal classes don't prepare yes. for that. Yes. And as you rightly said, that labor is for one day and parenting is for whole life, it has been said. Um, so it is important that pregnant women understand that it is actually their responsibility to prepare and take up uh, prenatal yoga, take up mindfulness. And that's why um, I'm launching this program, Mindful Mamas and Papas, which is going to provide training uh, of thinking, how to think, how to uh, develop your response to many situations in life that you have no control on. But can you tell, Jennifer, from your own um, mindfulness practice, because as I said, you have been coming to me since 2016 and you have even done yoga with me and mindfulness. So what did you find that what changes changed for you since practicing mindfulness? When I practice mindfulness, I no longer worry about the small things. The little chitter chatter in my head just melts away and I can focus on what I really need to do and the job I need to get done. So you're more focused now? 100%, yeah. <laughs> Brilliant. I love to listen to that because that's exactly what mindfulness is for. Uh, it, it makes, and that's why very many multinational companies like Google and uh, many uh, Nike, a lot of other um, healthcare institutions and even in UK healthcare system, they have included mindfulness because they have realized that there is no other way. We have got to change the way we think. So what is your advice, Jennifer, for pregnant women, like your last word as a midwife um, that you would like to give to them so that they learn to relax and they can manage the stress and the emotional response because pregnant women's bodies are ruled by their endocrine system. So it's the hormones that really makes them so moody. And the, it is also a well-known fact that postnatal depression is so prevalent uh, after birth and it can come up to any time up to one year. So Pregnancy is really the time to prepare and no matter whether it is your first baby, second baby or third baby, if you want to manage stress, pregnancy is the time to get ready. So what would you like to advise, Jennifer? I would advise pregnant women to educate themselves on ways to be a more mindful, calm parent and that will help them with their labor and their parenthood journey as well. Brilliant. Brilliant. Thank you so much, Jennifer, for joining us. And I really appreciate your time and your wisdom for sharing. And um, may your journey continue on this path because it helps us because we are midwives. And if we are practicing mindfulness, then only we can transfer it to our clients. So namaste and thank you so much. Thank you, Aparna. Thanks for having me.